guys and dolls, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, so, in case you haven't noticed this, narcissists do not have their own identity. Um, they've been a big fat zero their whole life. And because of mental illness and because of self-sabotage. Every opportunity that they have to be somebody or make something of their self, they will sabotage it. Okay? So, for the sake of this video, we will call this person David, but y'all know the real person's name, you know, the person's real name. But we'll call him David for the sake of the video. So, I know him and another narcissist that did the same thing. They are affiliated with the military, uh, not the military, excuse me. <laughs> not the military. They think that they're affiliated with the mafia. Okay? This is how delusional mental illness is. And there are other mental illnesses that go right along with narcissism. So the paranoia and the delusions may not necessarily be narcissism, but narcissism walks hand in hand with other mental illnesses. They coexist together. So if they have other mental illnesses, strong possibility they also have narcissism. That's almost a given. Okay? So they will lie these grandiose lies... I'm affiliated with the military. I mean, I keep saying military. They're two different entities, as far as I know. Anyway, um, I'm affiliated with the mafia, and one of them I call Sybil because she has so many personalities, it's not funny. You never know what mood you're going to get from one minute to the next. I called her Sybil, and she thinks that just because she spread for some random guy and got pregnant from him, or so she might think. She may not know who the father is. Let's just keep it real. She thinks that she humped this guy, got pregnant, whoever it is, got pregnant by him, and he's in the mafia. So because she spread her legs for him and had a kid, she's next in line to be in the mafia, which to me made no sense. I may not say anything about what you're saying, the ridiculosity that's coming out of your mouth, but... I put it in here. I put it in there. But it made no sense because if that was the case, women would be getting pregnant by mafia men all the time. You know? Mafia is run by men, not usually women, and especially random women that got knocked up. That's just asinine and retarded. But I wasn't going to argue. I just let it go. But it made no sense. But it always stayed in my mind that it made no sense. Okay? When you see the lies that David has told, grand lies. This person's psychotic, tried to ruin my neck, you know, and just went on and on with this fucking lie. He also claims that he was affiliated with a syndicate in Florida. Now, if you do extensive research, the only syndicate you will find in Florida are businesses, nonprofit organizations, and things of that nature. But you're not going to find any crime cartel connected to, to the syndicate in Florida. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I think that he's just full of shit. Uh, he supposedly got some girl pregnant and they were kids and they planned to have a kid and the kid, her and the kid died. You know, it, it, I noticed a trend with that too. Not only were they affiliated with the mafia, but anybody who could prove or disprove the shit that's flying out their mouth, they always die. They're always dead. How convenient. So it's not like you could sit and talk to that person sometime. It's not like you could question them because they're fucking dead. Imaginary people are dead. So th the reason why they do this delusional shit is because they've never had an identity. And they never had any self-esteem. So they attach themselves to other people that are tougher than them. They attach themselves to other uh, groups that are bigger than them. If they haven't had the opportunity to do that, they will make up some bullshit. Because it's not like he hasn't lied on a grand scale before. He has. He tried to destroy somebody and they didn't do anything wrong. Tried to ruin her life completely. Which I've already spread the word that, you know, if these people get in touch with the girl that he went out with, go ahead and give her my phone number and we can talk. 
I got no problem talking to her because I'm sure that the truth will come out of her mouth, whereas the truth didn't come out of his fucking lying ass mouth. So anyway, I noticed a trend that they will attach themselves to a huge group or huge organization just so that they can feel like they exist and so that they can feel like they have an identity for the first time in their life. The high doesn't last long, okay? He was affiliated, David was also affiliated with the um, uh, motorcycle gang, not gang, club, the gremlins. I believe that he probably was because that is a real entity and that is a possibility that, you know, we could see them go through town. So that's a possibility. Um, but he made it a point to weasel his way in there and become one of them so that he could have an identity and he could have something to brag about. Because accomplishments on his own were never good enough. You know? So that's part of their del uh, delusional thinking. Um, yeah, I was part of the mafia, and I did this, and I did that, and we had expensive dinners, and we flew to the East Coast to have lobster from Maine, $3,000 a plate, and all this other lying-ass bullshit. Um, give me a break. <laughs> when you know the person lies on a massive scale then you know that the massive things that they've told you, you have to assume that those are lies too. Why would you not? You know, why would you not assume that? And until I saw proof to the contrary, those are all lies. Lies, lies, and alibis. So that could be narcissism and grandiosity, or it could be other mental illnesses that are creeping into that, which cause delusions. Um, Sybil had delusions, you know, she was, she bought herself an engagement ring and spread this lie that this married man was, asked her to marry him. And they talked about their reception and where they're going to have the wedding. And he supposedly, some guy she supposedly met online and he happened to be mafia too. He ain't no more mafia than a man on the moon. How convenient. You met another guy on the line who happens to be mafia. I mean, these motherfuckers are really delusional. The problem is they're so used to spreading these cockamamie bullshit lies. They're so used to it that they believe it. And you can't tell them any different. Okay? I don't think that David was a part of any crime organization cartel or anything like that. I think it's all fucking bullshit. Did he possibly get somebody knocked up? An ordinary girl? Probably. Um, how he kept it a secret from his family? I don't know. But that could also be a lie, too. And conveniently, the kid is dead and the mother's dead. Do, do you see what I'm saying? There's a pattern of people that were supposedly involved in this world that you were a part of, and they always happen to die. I think it's fucking bullshit. And I think he uses... He picked, he randomly picked months out of the year where his kid supposedly died and the kid supposedly had a birthday and things like that so that he can milk sympathy from other people. It's a, it's a way of manipulating them and pulling them into this delusional world. I don't believe anything that that son of a bitch said. N nothing. Unless I see proof, I don't believe it. I don't think he ever had a kid who died. I think that's all fucking bullshit. I think he does that because he knows that when a child, imaginary or not, when they lose their life, people automatically go, oh, that's just, oh, that's terrible. Oh, my God. If you ever need anything, and it's all bullshit, you're being played. Unless you see proof of that, you see a death certificate with that person's name on it, matching the information that person said, and truth be told, that may not be true either. It might be something they found on the internet. So until you see concrete proof of the bullshit that's flying out their mouth, don't believe any of it. And that goes for people who are non-narcissists. They could be liars too. So until you see proof and consistency, don't buy into it. All right, you guys take care. Love you. Bye.